Hey guys, do it on a dime here. So this video is all about label makers and labeling things around your home. Now what I didn't want this video to be was a basic tutorial on labeling. Because you guys are smart people, you know how to label things like bins and file folders and stuff like that to stay organized. I want to make this video of more unique places around my home that I've labeled that have been really, really helpful, but they're things that you probably wouldn't think of when you first think of a label maker. So that's the goal of this video. I'm going to take you guys around and show you a few things. And then at the very end of this video, if you guys are new to label makers or you're thinking about getting a label maker and you're not sure which one to get, I'm going to explain to you why I love my Epson label maker so much and it's the one that I would recommend especially if you're new to labeling and don't want to spend a lot of money with it. So without further ado, here are my top places that I label around my home that you probably haven't thought of yet. The first thing I think everybody should label are their chargers, their phone chargers, their iPad charger, basically any type of charger because they all start to look the same, so this way it keeps them really organized. So I totally love this next one. Labeling light switches makes it so nice for guests coming into your bathroom or just making sure you know what light goes to what. This is a lifesaver in our house. So I know you can buy these, but why not make one for free with your label maker? I just took an old magnet I had sitting around and labeled it clean on one side and dirty upside down on the other. That way we can just flip it over depending on what the dishwasher needs. So I do this with all my portable electronics. I put my phone number and name on the side of my camera, my foot video, our iPad, just in case we take it somewhere and it gets lost, it can get returned to us. I also label all of my flash drives. I label them with temp if that means I can take this flash drive, put something on it, and then later delete it. Those are things I don't need to keep. Other flash drives I label with what they're for. For example, this has all my schoolwork, tests, and quizzes from previous years that I don't want to delete. Don't forget to use the vertical option on your label maker. This is great for places where labels normally wouldn't fit. Here I'm labeling standard size paper as well as specialty paper which is kept in the closet. And I've just mounted it on cardstock because it doesn't fit on the paper organizer. Another great place to label is your wireless internet router. Label it with the internet password on the side of the router so that way you never have to go digging through papers to find it. My last tip is to take an old plastic knife and label what you're growing in your garden with it or any type of windowsill box or anything like that. So that way when the seeds haven't sprouted yet, you know what should be coming up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of unique ways to use your label maker. And if you have a creative way, please leave it in a comment down below because I love seeing new ways that I can use my label maker. So as promised at the end of this video, I want to explain to you guys why I love my Epson label maker so much and I think it's a great first time label maker. I'm not being sponsored by them, this is just my opinion. There's tons of label makers out there so this is not the only good one, this is just one that I would really recommend. The first reason is the price of it. This label maker was $25 I think when I purchased it and I think right now it retails for $27 on Amazon.com. Label makers that are other brands, like Brother for example, can retail 50, 60, 80, even $100 and up, depending on how many features it has. So this is a great starter label maker. The other reason I love it is over time, it ends up saving you money. These little label cartridges that you can buy are about $15 a pop. And the Brother products, which is the other brand, Every time you print a label, there's wasted label that is excess that's printed off. I think it's a half inch with every label you print. Holy cow, that is going to add up over time. And to my knowledge, the Epson brand is the only label maker on the market that doesn't have that wasted tape in front. If you guys know of another label maker that doesn't, leave it down below. But to my knowledge, this is the only one that doesn't do that. The last reason I love the label maker is the interface. This thing does everything. It has a computer-like keyboard. You can also type in symbols, a warning sign, a paper clip, a star, save different labels that you tend to print frequently, print horizontally, vertically. This thing does everything that the more expensive label makers do. 
So that's the reason that I love mine so much. Like I said, I'll put a link below if you're interested in getting a label maker. I think that every organized house should have one. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and please leave me a comment down below if you have ideas for future organizing videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hi Luna. Should people get label crazy and label everything? Even their dogs? So we don't forget who you are? I love you. Hey guys, Do It On A Dime here. So this video is all about label makers and labeling things around your home. Now what I didn't want this video to be was a basic tutorial on labeling. Because you guys are smart people, you know how to label things like bins and file folders and stuff like that to stay organized. I wanted to make this video of more unique places around my home that I've labeled that have been really, really helpful, but they're things that you probably wouldn't think of when you first think of a label maker. So that's the goal of this video, I'm going to take you guys around and show you